almost 5,000 hours, 14 hours per day, and one year later, how has my monitor fared when it comes to burn-in? The monitor I'm using is the PG32 UCDP from ASUS, and it's a 4K, 240 hertz OLED panel. Since I posted my last video, I have developed an issue with this panel, so I figured it was time to take a look and see how things have progressed. Purchasing an expensive monitor like this is a really big investment, and like a lot of people, the thought of burn-in was definitely my biggest concern, since I not only use this panel for gaming, but also for editing and my day job as a developer. Since my last update, the way I treat this panel has changed. Since then, I've stopped using a full black background, I no longer hide icons or my taskbar on my desktop, and I've turned off every single OLED care feature since I feel like they just make the image look worse. The only thing that I still use on a regular basis is I allow the panel to run its refresh cycles. And I don't know how much these cycles actually help with burn-in, but I have had a few instances of image retention, which these cycles do take care of. This is something that I see a lot of confusion about online, and it's that image retention is not burn-in. And at least in my experience, it can be solved by running the pixel refresh. Image retention occurs when parts of the screen get kind of stuck and it leaves a bit of a ghost image on the screen, but only temporarily. This over the last year has only happened to me maybe two or three times. So not a major concern and running that pixel refresh seems to take care of it. Burn in on the other hand is permanent and it can sometimes look like image retention at first glance, but instead of fading away, it shows up more as shadowed or darker areas of the screen that just never disappear. So one year in and just shy of 5,000 hours on this panel, I still don't see any burn in. Color tests all look great and the panel is just as bright as it was when I got it. But that doesn't mean that everything is perfect here because I do have one small issue and that is right here. If you look close, there are a few black spots on the screen. Oh no! These are dead pixels and it's something that can't be fixed. In game and watching media, it's unnoticeable, but when I am browsing the web or working inside of a Word document, it is something that I can see and it does bother me. This though isn't something that is inherent to OLED and my previous LG IPS panel, it also developed this same issue. Most manufacturers do cover dead pixels to some degree as part of their warranty, so it is something that I likely will try to make a warranty claim on in the near future. Even with this issue and the potential for burn-in long-term, OLED is just too awesome to go back from. The last few weeks, I've actually been using my old LG 32 inch IPS display. And though that panel is quite good overall, it just doesn't compare to the performance and the contrast and the vibrancy that OLED provides. So my takeaway has kind of changed a bit over the last year, and I am pretty comfortable now recommending OLED for mixed usage scenarios. If you play games or watch movies on your display and also use it for work, I would say go for it. My display is on almost 14 hours per day, and that type of usage, I think, would take your average gamer way longer to reach. So if you are concerned about using an OLED panel due to the fear of burn-in, I think you can start to rest a little bit easier knowing that at least with these newer panels, this seems to be less and less of an issue. If you'd like to watch a video on my current favorite OLED panel, click this here and check it out. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching till the end of the video. Drop a like, subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, my name is Robbie. This has been Evertech and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.